Hey everybody, welcome to Own Your Own Life event for New Zealand. Um, I'm really excited to be doing this. We're going to do things a little bit differently tonight. I've got an amazing panel of ladies that have jumped on here with me to talk about a side business, an amazing supplement, and how a community has supported them on a journey so far. And um, I'm really excited about these ladies answering these questions. Um, welcome to anybody who watches this. My name is Pauline and I have been doing this business for four years. I came across this via an ad on Facebook and the whole concept inspired me so much that I dived straight in. Um, being in a job situation where I was bullied and ended up in um, a therapy, I wasn't in a very good place. So the one thing that I wanted the most was community. And that's exactly what I found in this business and this opportunity. And my journey has been amazing so far. So we have a lot of questions around an online business. And I want to get some of those questions answered for you guys tonight. So we are going, I'm going to introduce my ladies to you as we talk, and we're going to cover a few um, points on business, on our products, community, um, self-development as we grow and learn, and of course, the main one that I want to um, cover is Mythbusters. So... The first lady that I want to bring on is a new member to our team, and her name is Mata. And we're going to talk a little bit about business with Mata and um, get her take on it. She's only been in this business for a very short time, but is kicking a butt like nobody's business. And I want to welcome her on. So welcome, Mata. How are you? I can't hear you. Why can't I hear you? Your sound has gone, honey. No. No, it's there. It's there. It's You're there. there. <laughs> okay, I've just unplugged my headset, so we'll just uh, do it without the headset. No worries at all. So <laughs> welcome, Mata. Thank you for joining the panel tonight. And um, one of my questions for you is, what made you take a closer look at this opportunity? Um, I wasn't looking for a business as such. Um, and for me, it was simply the timing of the question. So um, Tony reached out to me with regards to a 14-day shake. And I thought, well, actually, I didn't think it. My husband volunteered me because she, she reached out to him. <laughs> And he said, my wife will do it. So yeah, that was my first introduction to the business was through the product. And um, that was a really amazing journey. And um, while I was, you know, added to the community group, um, I started seeing all these amazing shake creations and um, supplements that were being added to their shakes. And I got FOMO because I wanted to know what that was all about. And um Anyway, I got to the end of the 14-day shake and I thought, well, okay, that's it. Now what? Um, and then the lovely Tony invited me to her business relaunch. And I thought, okay, I'll come and have a look. You know, I'm happy to support people. I had no intention of doing anything with it. And uh, she lit a fire in my belly. And uh, when that finished, I messaged her with my why and haven't looked back. Fantastic. And your why is definitely... Um, something we'd love to hear about. So tell us your why. So my why was I was at an all-time low um, with stress, financial stress, when Tony first reached out to do the Shake Challenge. Um, and it was even, it, it was a very considered decision to actually jump on board. And um, But I took that leap of faith and did it. And for me, it's about... Financial freedom, being able to clear, you know, things like credit card debt and to be able to enjoy life where we love the outdoors. And I want to be in a position where 
Um, I don't have to be so considered and, you know, looking at bank accounts and selling from Peter to pay Paul and, you know, can I, you know, what bill am I paying this month? Can I drip feed that one? And, you know, that sort of stuff. And you know, I was just over that, you know, I shouldn't be in that position. Um, I feel it in this time of my life. Um, so it was time for me to put, put on my big girl undies and um, make a change. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. That, that's, that's basically it so that's what so, fires me every day because I want that freedom and I want to enjoy life um, and ultimately I want this to be my full-time employment oh absolutely I love that and the way you're going that's not going to be far off um, which brings me to my next question of course so you know like I said you've only been in here a short time but since being here how's it changed for you as in you know, what you do every day and how much time you spend on this business? What's it done for you as in, you know, yourself and your family and the way you see things? Well, for me, um, it's about people's health journeys and inspiring people to um, take charge of, of their health, first and foremost. And it's really heartwarming Um I simply share my journey and the amount of people that are contacting me simply because um, they're loving my new journey, they are inspired by what I'm doing and that's how they've actually made their decision to also um, try our products as well. And I get, you know, regular emails with updates on how they're feeling and my latest one was last night. Um, uh, my auntie who's been on the product for uh, seven days and cannot believe the energy she's got so you know everybody's journey is different and it's personal to themselves but really? that's the sort of stuff that really um, inspires me to keep going because I love helping people I'm a people person and this business is all about connection so um, and from the heart so um, oh, yeah, the support is just second to none. Oh. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing. And you're welcome. As myself, I, I know that I can't wait to see your journey go through the, you know, the next few months and see what's happening with you. So I really appreciate you jumping on and um, Pleasure. thank you so much. So the next person I'm going to bring on is a lovely lady, um, Kate, who has joined this business about a year or over a year ago. And um, Kate has an incredible story behind her. So welcome, Kate. Thanks for jumping on. And Thank you. Is it over a year you've been here? It's about a year on the dot. Yeah, cool. We know it. So tell me this journey so far. Is it instant money? Uh, I wouldn't say it's instant money. No, but if you follow the guides and you do the work, do the mahi, um, the commissions come in pretty quickly. I was, I was amazed and excited by it. Absolutely. So when we say, you know, have a side business, work online, you know, do you still have to work? You still have to work. Yes, but there, it's in stolen moments. It's not taking time away from your other job or your children you know you fit it in where you can fit it in absolutely love it's that. really flexible yeah I love it and so what do I get if I sign up if you sign up you get your own virtual office you get weekly online training and that's almost every day of the week depending on which team you've got access to. Often we've got access to more than one team. So there's all sorts of training from all different types of leaders. And you can find leaders that you resonate with because, you know, there's always some someone for, for everyone. Um, what did I say? Virtual office. You don't have to hold stock. The company takes care of that. They deliver it. Um, they even take care of... Um, debt collecting you know if, if you've got issues with customers they can help you with that you get your own website um, there's social media assets you get verbiage you get um, you know content you get pictures you've got 
a huge community of, of team to support you. Like if your upline's unava unavailable for some reason, like my upline's just had a baby and although she's amazingly available, um, <laughs> sometimes, you know, we, we're all human, they're not available and you've got all these sidelines or other leaders who you can access and they're there to help. Everyone is ready to jump in and help. Oh, I love that. So, you know, and, basically and immense head office support, loads yeah. of head office support. So we pretty much make our money back. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for jumping on. You're welcome. Love those answers. So, of course, my next guest is a beautiful lady who has joined my team again not so long ago. Um, and she is also doing amazing in this business. Um, her name is Anne-Marie and I would like to bring her on. And we're going to talk a little bit about the products, the supplements that come with this business and what they're about. So welcome, Anne-Marie. Hi, how's it going? It's going great. You're looking lovely. Thank you. So tell me, what are they? Okay, so um, so I actually started on the first thing I grabbed, actually, I'm just going to pull these out. So I started on the Complete Shakes, which are really, really great for my digestion. Um, and then I went to the Fruit and Veg. Now, if you can see those. Because the reason why I did that is because I wanted to know what all the products were like. And they worked so well with me. My digestion improved. I slept really, really well. My brain fog lifted. I just couldn't believe I had so much clarity. Um, and also the fruit, oh, the berry capsules, sorry. So I was taking all of those together to begin with. Um, I just was so amazed by the positive effect that these supplements had for me. And to be honest, I was never really a supplement person. I wasted so much money and everything just started, well, sit in the fridge for a year because I didn't think it was doing me any good. But it um, wasn't until I tried Juice Plus. And when you told me, Pauline, that they were 100% bioavailable and absorbed into your bloodstream within five to seven minutes, I was so impressed. I couldn't wait to start. So they've been amazing for me. And later on, I tried the um, Omegas too, but yeah, I just wanted to um, try different things like that combinations, which I'm going, I'm in the process of doing that at the moment, but yeah. So you put, had pretty much um, an impact on these, on your own journey, your health and stuff, because, you know, they're not a cure, they're not a band-aid. So what are they doing? What are they doing for us? So for me, I'm not very much of a consistent healthy eater I try my best but I seem to slip back into the snack mode and when I get to that stage I do notice the difference I did notice the difference sorry before I actually started taking um, my products um, now it doesn't really matter too much if I have those um, times when I am snacking because I know I'm getting all the nutrition that I need to bridge that gap with um, my beautiful Juice Plus products. I just love them so much. They're really amazing. If I'm doing a um, real physical day of trekking or something like that, um, I will take an extra dose because it just gives me that extra burst of energy that I need. So while I'm up the front pacing away, everyone's down behind me and they're like, wait for me, <laughs> but I'm way ahead. So um, I, I get that. that of energy yeah it's just it, they are just so amazing so impressive so why whole foods over synthetic well i'm plant-based and i really appreciate whole food products anyway and to know that these are completely vegan and 100 percent natural um is just reassurance for me that i am taking the right products for my um way of life my lifestyle um and to know that they're all food, 100% food, and they just get completely absorbed into your body without any of that yucky stuff. Um, when you have synthetics, the body doesn't recognize it, so you, it just gets wasted down the loo when you go to the toilet and 
you know, no one wants to waste their money on supplements. So why not, you know, these are just, honestly, I never have been really much of a supplement person. And these are amazing. I just really is just speaking from the heart when I say that I really, really love them a lot. Well, I love that too. And last question for you, why four months? Well, I know that our bodies regenerate full cell regeneration, I should say, for our whole cell, um, all the cells in our body. So when we are taking these for the whole four months, our body has the opportunity to, when they are regenerating, to have all of the natural and beautiful whole foods that we need to be able to repair ourselves and all that sort of thing, along with our DNA. Um, so when it does that full cycle, you're getting all the benefits of every part of the Juice Plus products that you have. So it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful cycle that um, you get full benefits out of when you are having those supplements. Love that. Thanks. Thanks for sharing and thanks for jumping on with me and giving up your time. You guys are awesome. So I'm going to bring on our next lady. We're going to talk community because at the end of the day, a lot of this, having a side business is not just about making money or taking a product or selling a product. It's also about community. And I know for me, that was something I craved. So I'm going to bring Kelly on. She is a newbie as well. Um, hey, Kelly, how are you? Hi, thank you. That's good. So, Kelly, we're going to talk community. So, with this business, what's the support like for you? Honestly, it's been amazing. I've been quite accepted. Um, it's a whole lot more than just a business. It's actually like having another family. Um, you can reach out to and talk about not just the products in the hand, hand juice plus, but every day in life we're 100% behind each other, um, support each other, and get with each other up. Um, when Doing well, everybody celebrates, everybody's um, achievements. It's just incredible. Um, it's so much more than ever expected. Um, you want to comment? Um, you, you know, there's so many things that you can jump on board with. Um, you can as much for as a good as you can and you can for. So, yeah, it's incredible. Awesome. And so is there local meetups that you can get together with community? Or yeah, other ways? Definitely. Especially when you've got people in your area or local um or even not so local, you know, everyone meets up and jumps on board with each other as much as they possibly can when they can. Um yeah, it's just like people that you never meet um in person that you talk to or not. You wouldn't even fasten like you can't have to jump in the room and get out of the room because you feel like you're eating them like a human beer. So, yeah. Love that. I mean, that was one of the things I craved. So, do you feel very supported in this business? Oh, absolutely. 100% and so much more than I thought it would be. I know we're on a different journey and some people, everybody, doesn't go face in a different way and I never feel judged, I never feel um, like I'm not doing enough or, you know, whatever, whatever anyone is at, um, we're in a 100% of the yeah. Love it. And I love the fact that you've answered those because you are new to it and I know that community was something that was like me you needed as well um so we're happy to have you yeah. in this and we can't wait to see your growth along the way so thank you for answering those now this lady doesn't know that i'm going to ask for this but she has jumped on and i'm going to bring her on so um she's going to kill me sue 
<laughs> hey, Sue. Hello. How are you? I'm busy, darling. I've, I've started an amazing page called Susie's Soul Connection and I've boosted a couple of job ads. Yes. And while I've been listening to your amazing girls, I'm on my phone because all these messages are coming through about people wanting more information. Fantastic. So it's a really well, good I idea. Ask you a question because, I mean, you're just a rock star in your own form. Thank you, darling. You know, and you inspire me daily. You've just got such a beautiful soul. I want to ask you, what does community mean for you? You've been a part of this. Oh, do you know, I didn't know I needed this community until I actually found it. Um, I felt a little burning in my gut and I took a right turn instead of going ahead. And all along that right path, I've collected brothers, sisters, family, friends, community, people I'd never met and people that probably would never have been in my life if I hadn't followed my instinct. And this community has been astonishing. Overseas in Australia, you guys, I mean, we class just as Aussies anyway. Um, we class you as New Zealanders. So yeah, you got to try and jump on. Yeah, and um, I, I just was, and every day I'm still astounded as to how much support, love, friendship and laughter from this community of thousands who, again, as I said, if I hadn't taken that turn and followed my instinct, I would never have found this place of peace, of support, of love. I'd still be an angry little Vegemite standing in front of my ironing board, oh, putting creases that. in the pants of people who <laughs> paid me to do it. So I I'll really never be that. without this community, never. I love that. And I mean, you know, we talk often, you know, I've never met you. <laughs> you know, I'm meeting you at this conference, we're, we're catching up, right? But I just love the fact that, you know, you, like, I had so much support from you over the last conference. And, um, and that blew me away because, like I said, never met you. But, you know, that support comes and it's so much encouragement. So I just want to thank you for answering that question because I just wanted to spotlight you for a second. And thank Absolutely you for jumping my on with me, my darling. No worries. I have got a question for Kate. I'm going to go back to Kate. Kate, can you tell me what conference is about? Conference is, again, about community, but it, it, it's, it's motivation. It's, it's seeing your sidelines and uplines, their success and their stories and... It's inspiring. It's inspiring. So what is it though? Like, is it, is this like a yearly thing? Is it, um, you know, is yeah, it, I, it, who's it about? Yeah, it's, it's like, oh, it's about Juice Plus and about the, the, the online business community that they've created and the epic lives that have been created out of it of just, normal people mums grandmothers you know and it, it happens every year and last because of covid we had to have it in new zealand remotely and we a lot of us went to telco but this year it's in canberra and it, it's pretty excited to think that we can actually all go and see and meet some of us meet for the first time all these people that we've been communicating with online and, and getting close to and it's a Absolutely. real buzz, an absolute buzz. And it's a celebration too, you know, they've got the big gala on the Saturday night and everyone gets all dolled up and glamorous and yeah. It sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah, it's fun and exciting, yeah. It is indeed. Thank you for sharing that with me. So I'm now going to switch gears. This lady is going to talk to us about self-development because part of our journey is, like I said, it's not just about selling, it's not just about, having an online business or community it's also about growth and um you know normally we pay for that stuff but part of this incredible opportunity we get these for free and I'm going to bring this lady on and I'm so glad she's talking about this because she's been a part of my team for two and a half years and 
she bloody did for me. Um, and I'm going to want her to talk about self-development because when she came in on board, she shied away, she hid, she avoided every goddamn conversation that I tried to have with her. And I knew there was something in her and I wasn't giving up. And I'm so glad I didn't because right now she's kicking ass socially and physically on this platform. So Tony, hello. Hello. This is this is out of your comfort zone a little bit, isn't it? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> she's getting better at it. So Tony, this journey so far, the two and a half years, how have you grown personally on this journey? Um, well, you can vouch for that. Uh, not everyone has known me for as long as I've been here for, but I basically said yes to Pauline's ad without knowing even what it was. And then when she told me about the products, that was what sold me first and foremost for me and my family. Um, and then when I actually saw what had you had to do, I was kind of like, I'm out. <laughs> See you later. So I, I was still around, but I wasn't doing any of it because um, I was, I'm just like, I still consider myself an introvert, but yeah, then I was just like, how no, I'm not <laughs> reaching out to people. I'm not posting about myself on Facebook. Like I just wasn't willing to do that. Like it scared me. Like if I'm being honest, it was like completely out of the realm of what I was used to. So for a good seven months, I, I actually hid away before I made the decision to jump on one of Katrina's challenges and do it, like actually take part. And Pauline will tell you, I was freaking out one night going, I can't talk to this person and I can't add them. They don't, it took me a whole hour just to add one person because I was so scared. But I, like over the time, like when I did decide to give it a go, like I did go full speed, but there's been a lot of moments where I've done that, gone full speed. And then there's been a whole heap where I've been quite stagnant, stagnant, like just not doing anything. But it was actually within the last six months where I actually, I don't know how to explain it. The way I explain it is a uh, flip switched and I just had self-belief and felt I could lead a team. But I think it took those first two years to actually be able to come to that conclusion. Absolutely. But along those two years, you, what what's that journey like in yourself? Like, how have you grown in those two years? I almost don't, don't know how to put it into words. How? I could only really tell you what I was like back then when I joined and what I'm like now. Um, I think the fear's gone. A lot of the fear has gone. There's still a little bit there. Um, but a lot of it's gone because now I'm just like, well, if they say no, so what? You know, um, for every no I get, maybe one day I'll get a yes. I mean, that's how I found Mata. So um, the self-doubt, uh, no, that lingers. I'm not going to lie. Um, there will be days, like I'm, I've so been backwards and forwards this week. It's not funny because I'm going for another big promotion. And then when I initially got kicked up the butt from one of the leaders in front of everyone, <laughs> me and Mata, but more me. We know Adam um, has a way of doing that. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of like, okay, I thought maybe I am short selling myself. But since that training last week, I've back, back flipped sw backwards and forwards between, I got this too, I don't have this. <laughs> so um, it's, yeah, it's, it really is a journey because as the days drop off and you know you're getting closer to the end of month it's just quite it can be quite nerve-wracking but I just thought if I just give it as much as I can at least I know I tried and then if not I'll dust myself off and try again next month but I know Absolutely. my team can qualify so that's all that I really care about at this point. So self-doubt the journey that you've had over this time you've got the tools now to like when you first started self-doubt sunk in and you really took you a little while to actually believe in that. But now you have those tools that, mm. that you've grown and had along this journey to kind of kick your own butt now. You don't need us to really do that for you, you know. Um, so that Sometimes is I do. <laughs> you just need that reassurance. We all need reassurance. Mm. Um, so, okay, so how often would you hear the self-talk such as, I don't think I can do this, I don't have enough self-confidence, what will people think of me, and I don't know enough people. How would you go about explaining that side of things? 
for me personally or just in general? Just in general, um, you know, like if you were having that conversation with someone, what would your words be to that person? Um, well, that's a hard one. Everyone is different. And, you know, there's a lot of people here that just jump on straight away and they just run with it. And that for me is really cool, especially when I see a lot of the newer group or people, anyone that's come after me, I call them new, but anyone that's come recently or, you know, maybe even last year, like for me, that's, it's admirable. Like I always used to say to you, well, why didn't I do this two and a half years ago? But the truth be told, I wasn't ready. And I needed that growth because if I didn't have it, maybe I just would have burnt out early. Um, but as far as or any self-doubt, um, you know, negative talk and things like that, I think every one of us probably has it at some point. Um, you, I, it's, it's really hard to explain how, but I guess you need to think, is my why and my vision um, like worth it? Like, um, is my um, desire to succeed greater than my um possibly uh, possibly failing like you need to look at it that way because the problem I had was I saw what I wanted the end prize to be and what could have been possibly a pipe dream like I thought you know this is really cool I want this but I wasn't really making the steps to work towards it and then it was when I realized that I want this but I am going to make the steps to walk towards this that's the difference like you I do actually have to get people now and then to put me in my place and kick me up the butt although I do it to myself the most but um you, you just got to really think about why you're here what like why you're doing this for and if you from the get-go you can see what is possible then that should be what drives you but in saying that um don't feel bad when you have down days. I have the down days. So you just have to sit in that for a short time and then find something that like reset and start again. Because otherwise, if you sit down there for too long, that's where um, the self-doubt and all of that will take over, if that makes sense. Absolutely. But yeah, I find it hard to put into words to explain how to do it because for me, I had to find out for myself. But yeah, like I say, as long as your drive is there, um, then that should be enough to, along with the team and the community, that should be enough for you to spur you on, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Thank you. And, like, I, I mean, I'm proud of you, you know. I mean, I tell you that all the time. And, I, I mean, I'm excited to see where you go and I'll probably jump up more about your questions than I do my own. Um, so let's kick ass at the end of the month, Tony, okay? And um, I know you've got it. So thanks for jumping on. And now I'm going to change over to an amazing lady that has been on this journey probably the same amount with a little bit less time than me. I'm not too sure. Um, Kieran is, uh, how do I explain Kieran? Um, <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> Jeez, oh. what a bloody opening is that? I know. It's just you just bring <laughs> laughter and so much to this game that, you know, it just makes my heart so full. But we've had a few crazy moments through this journey, you know, of um, give and take and not, not sure if we should be here and, and what are we doing wrong. And, you know, and I guess, you know, for a long time we've been that pounding yeah board to each other you know absolutely but I have brought you on because I know that this is something that you're going to cover so well <laughs> and this is something that we get all the time online from working online it's a one of our misconceptions what is our common misconception in this business damn girl you're making me get it down to one Holy well, no, hell. There's more, but we've got a main one you can I want you to cover them but let's go with the main one what's the main one? Oh, we all know everybody gets told it's all a freaking pyramid scheme which is a bunch of bullshit just say it yes. you should just tell it like it is um, <laughs> yeah if anything if you you know I'm Karen I've been in the industry probably three years I'm a burn, a slow burn because I've got lots of self development to have walked through um, and learn and evolve. So, myths, yeah, the biggest misconception about this uh, amazing, amazing opportunity in business is that it's a pyramid scheme, when in fact it's not. Um, if you look at traditional business, which business corporations, that kind of thing, 
that, in my opinion, not to offend anybody, is a typical pyramid scheme because you have a CEO up the top up here and we all start down on the bottom and the only way to work ourselves up in the traditional way is to either study more and apply internally or externally. There's a lot of competition involved in that kind of thing. So I, it, I am so ecstatically happy to say that this is, we are not that. We are an amazing organization. We are entrepreneurs, first and foremost. That is what we're signing up for. It is all about us. It's all about taking that leap of faith, myself included, being scared shitless. But like a lot of the panel here, excuse my language, sorry if I'm offending anybody, is to do something for ourselves. We see a community which, again, is unconditionally supportive, sideline, upline, downline, all are there to support us. I love it because in this business, everybody, we reach down and we lift up. And through that, we have an amazing literal platform that um, it's an amazing synchronicity of people and you learn and you grow, your dreams grow too. You start off somewhere here, this little nugget, kind of like an ac you know, an acorn, an oak tree, buried in the dirt going, oh hell, I don't think I can do this. But you're given the tools. As Kate said, there are trainings that we're given. Uh, you can do them daily, should you choose to. And that's globally. We, we have such an amazing resource of international people from so many different walks of life that you actually avoid a lot of the potholes that we would normally do in a traditional business, right? What else do you want me to talk about, Billy? I love it. What's um, I mean, throw some other misconceptions at me. Like, oh. maybe I, I, come on, I might not have heard so. Yeah, okay. Um, so the other misconception which I was really worried about because I was overseas um, for a major part of my time is that you have to have, you know, that you're going to have to hit up your family and friends. I was really worried about going to my family and or friends and everybody turning around and say, exit stage left. All right. Um, because, you know, here she goes again. Kira's talking about JP, talking about capsules. I'm not ready to hear it. Well, that's a bunch of malarkey. You don't do this. This whole this whole thing is about growing you. It's about being authentic. It's about having integrity. And obviously, we all love what we're doing. In progress. Which is okay. And, and you grow through that. I'm like very much like Tony. who's like, oh, shit, I don't really want to do this. Um, but you learn because you learn to trust yourself. You learn to go in. and you start attracting the people that really, really want this gift, right? Absolutely. They see that major change in you. So, and they're like, hmm, I want some of that. I want, what, and that's what I did. I got in through the community because I started on one of the challenges that we had way back when. And I was looking at all these amazing people. And I was like, I want what they want. Damn it, why can't I have it? Because at that stage of my life, I was, lower than the pond scum on the bottom of the pond um and that's yeah so that's another myth that i've just blown out the water you don't have I can't to imagine like, you being pine scum on the bottom of whatever like, <laughs> oh my gosh this is why i love interviewing you you just like crack me up just keep it real covered, i think you've covered those myth busters and you've definitely given us your take on it um yep. you're not shy of that which i love so um, thank you for joining me and the rest of this, this team. Oh, no. I'm going to end it with one more question and I'm going to hand that over to Kate. If she's, oh, yeah, she's still on. And um, Kate, I'd like to ask, especially you, because I know that you're like a fear of doing lives and all this sort of stuff, you know, was quite a big issue for you and set the like self-limiting stories and stuff. 
what help do we have to overcome self-limiting stories? Um, Kat is pretty good at the trainings around that. Um, she, she's just full of so much love for all of us. And she makes you believe that you can do it. I don't know how she does that. I've never met anyone like her. But not only that, we've got trainings for it too. There's, I mean, there's, there's a training for everything. And we've got everyone around us who are doing or trying to do the same thing. So we see everyone in our team having a go. And we're, they're just being themselves. And, and it gives you permission to be yourself on your own page instead of trying to be someone you're not. You don't have to be someone you're not. Just be you and your people will come. Absolutely, I love that. Well, thank you because you have just answered some really cool questions. All of you, you can all come off mute. I just would like to say a huge thank you to all of you for jumping on. And I hope whoever's watching this will get some some good answers out of their questions and know that this is not for everybody, but everybody can do it. So ask yourself, what if, what if I could and go from there? But if you're watching this or if someone sent it to you, get back in touch with them. Let them know what your thoughts are, your feelings. And again, I just want to thank this panel for jumping on and giving up their time. Really appreciate you guys and um, our special guest Sue that jumped on at the end. Um, and we hope to see you again next week with some new newbies on here or some old team and answering some more questions. So thanks everybody and good night. Good night. Good night. Stop recording. Bye.